Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you're about to see now. Just make sure that you subscribe and click on the little bell because that's the only way to get notifications. After someone is comfortable with vanilla JavaScript, would you recommend that a beginner to learning re Wait, would you recommend that beginners to learn React or PHP and Laravel course to have a better shot of becoming junior developers? Yes. So basically, the question is, let me sum it down and put it more in simple terms. If I'm a beginner, right? If I'm a junior developer, would I recommend someone to say, hey, focus on learning React and focus on PHP Laravel? Yes. That's exactly what I've been saying for the past year. I've been here on YouTube for one whole year, right? And I've been explaining to people all the time, like, hey, you got to choose either angular react or like let's say something like uh php laravel wordpress like you got to choose your your lane right trying to master everything trying to jump on every single framework trying to do everything that's out there is not going to help you find a job what it's going to do is going to make you constantly be worrying about oh what's the latest thing what should i learn you know you could spend a whole year you know looking into what's the best thing to do Right. Trust me. Take it from me. I could have probably started working, I don't know, two, three months in. And I didn't start working until like a year. I spent a whole year trying to learn everything from Backbone to Angular to Ember to um, I learned Node.js, uh, learned a little bit of PHP. I, first, I was learning Ruby on Rails. And then because everybody was like, learn Node.js at the time. And it's like, Ruby is dying. <laughs> I was like, OK, I'm going to jump to Node.js. So those are the mistakes that I made, right? When I tell you guys something is because of my own mistakes, don't do the mistakes that I did. You know what I mean? Like if I give you an advice, it's for a reason. I've already been down this path as a, you know, as a self-taught developer, somebody who's learning online, learning on, on Udemy, learning on uh, Code Academy, Team Treehouse, Free Code Camp, uh, the whole shebang, the whole list, plural site. I've been through every single website, right? The things that you got to focus on are the things that is going to get you a job right away. You know, sometimes you might play around with a like a new technology or new framework just to play around. Right. But that's not your main focus. That's like something that you do in your off time. You're like, oh, yeah, cool. Let's go check out Elm or oh, cool. Let's go check out Elixir or let's go check out Golang. But let's be honest, you're not going to go get that Elixir job as a junior developer. You're not going to go get that go leg job as a junior developer that never worked at a company like those companies are not going to trust you. The ones that are going to trust you are, you know, you becoming either a front end developer, just knowing HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Right. And knowing at least one framework, either react or angular, everything else is irrelevant to be honest with you. All right. Every other framework out there is irre irrelevant. There's really no need for you to learn it. Right. Even though I told you to learn, um, uh, how you call this hyper app but hyper app is it's almost related to react and redux so it's almost like learning the same thing so that's the main reason why i told you guys to learn it right now um as far as like the php backs you know back end like you want to learn something like php laravel you want to learn the latest php php 7 um you want to be able to come in and say hey i know at least one database right and most likely it has to be my sequel you know a lot of times people spend a lot of you know a lot of their time you know trying to learn mongodb and then they end up never working at a company <laughs> that uses mongodb right like you gotta understand like what's in your area what are the type of companies that are, are around you like let's say if you live in san francisco you live in new york city most likely at some point you're gonna have to use mongodb if you live in detroit you live in in i don't know in iowa somewhere if you live in uh, mississippi most likely you're not using mongodb right so that's one of the things that i always tell people like do the research in your area find out what the jobs have what exactly is it that they're hiring for and yeah man make sure you get in there
Okay. Guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro.